Hi there. This is one of the tips and tricks series, and so it's little things make a difference. Well, the fly is kind of a little thing, so here we are. It's called fighting back, taking more power back, waking up. And it's from 10-27-2010, the first of that day. The Mayan day was 11 Jaguar. Good morning. Is it a good one for you? Are you in joy with it? Are you enjoying it? Well, if not, why not? That joy is always there, always available, as close as your heart. I am so blessed to have this big picture window to look out of to look upon such a wide swath of nature this way. All are blessed. What are your blessings? Are you blessing conscious? Choices. So much of our life is about the choices presented to us. Which ones do we see and which ones miss? Perhaps due to inattentiveness, uh, more likely made invisible by our beliefs the thoughts and feelings we hold about things. So enter and center within. Hmm, that's interesting. That word center, it contains the word enter. Ah, I like that. Let's make the C for chest. Enter your chest, i.e. center. Very neat. Many things in English are like that perhaps in other languages as well. It's a code. It's symbolic, at least slightly. Sometimes it's just a compression code, such as the word goodbye being the code word or compression of the Old or Middle English, God be with ye. Goodbye, God be with ye. It's easy enough to see there, but not until you know it. We don't see what we don't know about. We're simply unaware of it, even though it's right there in our face. That's what beliefs do. Much of our life has been engineered in this way by the manipulators. Thus, our prison bars are invisible ones. We simply don't know things, so we don't see them or don't see the lack of them. Then too, we're kept in fear, so we won't even want to look. Well, first is planned for us. Perhaps you've heard of the internment camps or prisons being built in so many places in the world, not just the USA. These are for the citizens. Citizens they will falsely label as terrorists or some other catchword, but they'll be just you and me, my friends, that they're after. That's being planned. And parenthetically, for those with the courage and open mind to watch it, I'll put a link to the documentary Camp FEMA in the scribed transcript. Okay, we've been herded like sheeple far too long and they're trusting we'll just keep going along with them, letting things happen, closing our eyes the way that we've done. Everything's polluted and collapsing all around us, yet we still keep our eyes shut, seeking some form of normalcy trying to keep just marching on. Well, part of the reason for this is the neurotoxins, the brain chemicals that have found their way into our bodies from our environment. A big part of this is the fluoride in the water we drink. It does literally nothing beneficial for teeth. And that's been proven. That's just the cover story, the excuse to add yet another poison to 
the body, via the water we drink. It takes our spirit, our verb, our energetic individuality away, or it tries to. It attacks our very will, our sense of free will, this fluoride. We lose our drive for freedom when we're poisoned with small amounts of it. Heaven knows what else this stuff does. I draw your attention to the fine documentary style video, The Awakening by Maxwell Egan. Once again, he lays it out for you and beautifully. I'm uploading it to my site pretty soon. Well, obviously I've already done that. So, I have two positive ideas for you. The first thought may, uh, the first thought may be to go out and buy your water. Well, I don't really trust that. There are too many peddling water that is not from the clean sources that are claimed for it. So, my suggestion is to purchase a water tester. For about $30 American, you can find one on Amazon that will give you a reading on dissolved solids. I guarantee you that for $100 or less, you can own a fine, very useful water tester. No more need to rely on commercials, on ads. These testers are good as well to judge the performance of your own water purifying devices. You can also go out and buy several brands of purified water and get some real results, not just the advertising hype. Let's stop believing what the labels say. They get fancier and fancier with their ability to lie on these labels. The FDA goes along with it here in the USA. They're part of the problem. As a for instance, I think MSG or monosodium glutamate, clearly a brain toxin, has now been relabeled as a quote unquote natural ingredient. So it doesn't get individually listed anymore. Very slick. Evil, actually. Just be alert, be informed, back to the water. It's vital we ingest huge amounts of water these days in support of our DNA and the changes going on there in support of health. And this is critical. DNA does not function well in the absence of good hydration. Word to the wise. Now stay in heart with me, please. There's no despondency, no depression there. I know it is tempting when such dark subjects are brought up, but that's just mine going off in those directions. That is not you. No need to pay heed to that. No need to believe the mind. Just look away. Okay, and let's all remember Dr. Emoto and his fine water research. Let's remember the power of the word to alter the structure of water. Even the terribly polluted stuff with who knows what in it, the word will purify that. Don't forget. Let's maybe hang up beautiful pictures of his water crystals where they can be seen. Let that be our subliminals. Let us choose our own. Let this be our artwork so that we have the constant and uplifting reminder. Reminder of the beauty of water and the power of the word. Now, more on that vein, labels. What I do with my products when I get them home from the store is to cut off the labels, many of them, especially the liquids. Cut that label off of your water bottle it's influencing the water structure. No need for that. Then, right on the side of the fridge in a magnetic holder is my permanent marker that I use to write words of blessing on the bottles instead of the commercial hexes for that's how they function. Words influence energy. We are energy beings. 
everything, every product you buy and ingest is composed ultimately of energy. So make good use of your words, written and spoken ones. Have a care. Be alert. We're waking up. Okay, so in addition to writing words of blessing on the containers, before I drink anything, I bless it. As I have said before, another use of words. Uh, words from the heart, not the head. Let's be centered always, not just when we meditate, but in everything and everywhere. Let's live from there, not just pay heart a visit now and then. Trust and believe as well that all of the toxins in the water are subject to you. Now, maybe this is challenging. After all, I've just told you to buy a tester to do things the mental way. Maybe you think that flies in the face of faith. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, find a way in your being to bring the dichotomies together. Everything's one. Remember about both sides of the coin, then get out of the head. Only head gets polarized. Heart can handle this. It's no problem. <laughs> Just don't think so much. It's really quite easy once you get the hang of it. And in addition, you'll have more fun. So now you have three ways to bless and benefit to purge and purify the water you take in. First, by removing the label, then by writing words on the container, and then by your spoken blessing before you consume it. All this is good, but be sure to come from heart with all of it, not from the head. Do the mantra for mind. Now, before leaving the subject of water, I'll remind you that if you leave your water out and open for a few hours before cooking, with or drinking it, the chlorine will evaporate and you'll be rid of at least one negative substance naturally. I've also shared with you that I place my clear crystal container where I let my drinking water sit out on the east facing windowsill to take in the morning sun. Now, additionally, there are crystals at the bottom of the container imparting their own special blessing into the sun blessed water. Everything adds up. Now, there's one last thing I will mention. Something for you to Google, maybe. It's called Miracle 2. Have you heard of it? It's some interesting stuff. They make uh, cleaners and lotions and bubble bath and soap and lots of things. I happen to use it. Let's see, and which ones miss? Perhaps due to inattentiveness. Uh, more likely made invisible by our beliefs, the thoughts and feelings we hold about things. So enter and center within. Hmm, that's it. More power back, waking up. And it's from 10-27-2010, the first of that day. The Mayan day was 11 Jaguar. Good morning. Is it a good one for you? Are you in joy with it? Are you in Hi there. This is one of the tips and tricks series, and so it's little things make a difference. Well, a fly is kind of a little thing, so here we are. It's called Fighting Back. Take enjoying it? Well, if not, why not? That joy is always there, always available, as close as your heart. I am so blessed to have this big picture window to look out of, to look upon such a wide swath of nature this way. All are blessed. What are your blessings? Are you blessing conscious? Choices. So much of our life is about the choices presented to us. Which ones do we 